Well, and welcome back to Scandinavian Open 4 in Stockholm. Welcome to the booth, and now we have two players coming up here. We have uh, Björn Eriksson. I don't really know uh, so much about him, but I know what, what he's playing. And he's playing actually somewhat of a like uh, really unusual choice, but he's playing Naya, or he's just playing white, red, and splashing green. And who's the other player? Uh, Lube Janse. Uh, I think he's a top eight player for some GPs. He's, he's a pr very good player, is he? He's a very good player, and he's he has actually has a top four from World Championships. Is that what he has? Yes. He's nice. And a couple of other pro tours. Uh, uh, he, he's a he's a very good player. Yeah, he's a stable player, and he actually won uh, a players. Championship, uh, yeah, the world championship qualifier, the ah. WMCQ for uh, this year, maybe. yeah, this year, yeah, but right. Um, so uh, what I know is that uh, Luv is playing like a very white heavy deck with some splashes for some other good cards. And he, is he playing like, uh, um, is he playing white, blue, red, or I uh, think he's playing white, blue, and black. I think he's uh. He almost you no. Know, he's he's playing white blue and he has some cards in red, one or two. And now we can see a good card, a really nice phoenix coming down the four one. The Ashcloud phoenix. The Ashcloud phoenix, mm, yeah. having seen some play in standard red green versions. I also well. saw some play in the Yeska fireworks or Yeska wins deck. Yeah, precisely. But, uh, and they also Tim Temeragra I think also played it. Yep, and here's a Lutz Path Gin from Luva. Um, which doesn't like. He doesn't trade very well. Um, no. Um, since the phoenix is just going to turn to morph I if he if he dies, so Luva takes four damage down to sixteen, and now here's a oh, <laughs> okay, some good rare cards <laughs> coming over here. Uh, what is it called? Like twins or something? Yeah, it's the double striking twins. Uh, three, three, four, five mana. With double strike, and they do have prowess as well. Yeah, prowess yeah. and double strike. So they can be pretty scary if you uh, have some cards for them. That's uh, that's really the dragon style <laughs> twins. Dragon style twins is what it's called. So, <laughs> Louis yeah. bravely getting into the red zone here. Uh, yeah, yeah, he has a sandblast if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and he, he's just he's kind of fine. But uh, if Bjorn has a feed resistance, that does not look very good. Um, it's game over, I would say. Well, almost. He's gonna take. So it's we can say Bjorn. Well, he takes them. <laughs> yep. He's down to four. Yeah, we can say Bjorn actually has a, like a stable white red deck um, with, and now is Sandblast, Channel Harm, Kill Shot, and uh, Goblin Heal Cutter. Channel Harm being pretty good there. Yeah, it's it's a really good card, but it's it's a little bit like suspicious when you pass with six mana. And if you have white mana, so you can play around it, but it's oh he Bjorn is playing around Sandblast. Yeah, he's playing around Sandblast now. He's, uh, he's really uh, well <laughs> read by him. It's a nice play. Yeah, it's it's so much if your opponent like passes with five mana. So it's, uh, it's, I that it's, like, it's a good chance he has something like kill shot or whisk away or indeed. And th that's why I don't sometimes don't like the those kind of removals. They are very good, but. If you if your opponent reads you correct, they're yeah, like, they're they're very 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 they're much bad worse. Yeah, they can play around them like just like Bjorn Eriksson did now. Um, so he's gonna use the mana, do you think? The war color. Yeah, the more the war color. Um, he's going to fight a creature here. He's going to fight the double striking. Uh, with a double striking. That was not a savage punch. What, what card was that? That was a uh, hunter week. So oh. he's he's a white red deck and he's actually like splashing, splashing for fighting cards. He's playing two hunter week and he's playing one savage punch, I believe. So that's his dream. So, so we might see twenty in a, in a round if he does this correctly. Like yeah, yeah. Punch, he hit with the twins, something like that. And Louis just. Going fair with a 3-5 th vanilla guy. And he's just... I'm well, going to play commons and <laughs> against your... Against your bomb rares. Bomb rares. And we can see how how things will turn up here. Um, it 
takes it costs six mana to yeah uh, and it it does two damage uh, as well uh, but it looks it. like he has a baiting dragonfire yeah um actually not so good no, against no, no. that it's an act of treason act of treason <laughs> okay then he should probably be dead, right? Yeah, I think if it, it's, if, if I think it might be act of treason, or my spotters yeah, are mistaken. Yeah, yeah. If it's an act of treason, he should be dead. Or maybe he's playing it. Uh, maybe he's waiting for it too. Yeah, but it, it's tap out. He's tapped out. So if it, if it's just an act of treason, he's dead. Um, it should be something else. It's it's a sandblast here. So yeah. sandblast pro triggering prowess as well. So he takes 10, 12? 10, 12. That's right. So. <laughs> Down to Louvi Johnson, down to five, and I don't think, yeah, he can have like a something of a breath effect getting back to this game. But I can, I can look if it has a breath effect. I don't believe he has it. The only breath effect is in white that he did. well in the yep. in the colors he has cards in, and. So he doesn't play Crux, uh, I know, and he does not have a bad ref effect. Yeah, so this is looking pretty grim for Luvianza. Um Yeah, it's looking really bad for Luvia. Yeah. Um, well, he, he does get play Act of Treason, so he, it he might had, be an act. Yeah. He, it looks he like it was an act, so okay. he had lethal acts last um, time. I have to count. Eight... Um, I think it was maybe it was a lot short. Yeah, he was on seventeen, I believe. Yeah, wasn't he on seventeen? Yeah, he 17. Was, yeah, and yeah, he and, and he would have done sixteen. So yeah, yeah. maybe it was correct not to take in that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I rather kill the three five, three six is it? Three five. Uh, three five. Yeah, but now Louvis down a game, uh, which wasn't like <laughs> he couldn't have done much in that yeah. in that spot. Uh, fighting with those crazy rares. Um, so Bjorn the, the, Eriksson. This was apparently a multi six. Aha. Uh -huh. It's pretty okay. good. Yeah. It's, uh, for on Bjorn's part, for that is. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Is... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. He seems like a has a stable uh, deck. You know, he has. You mean stable rares? <laughs> stable rares, <laughs> but really he also. Good. It's also not like we're back again here and at the booth, and yeah, he he has like. It's not usual to like splash green. If you splash, you well, it it kind of depends. But you can splash for like a bullet loxodon or something. But it's not uh, splashing for, for splashing for fight cards is kind of um, unusual in some ways. Yeah, but it it's removal cards, and the thing is, when you're doing a splash, it's mostly not for creatures, and it's for removals. But yeah, if he he has like. Some some good uh, targets uh, to fight with. Um, yes. It's actually a good idea. Like like, like, like the double strikers and also yeah. it's, it's all it's pretty good to fight with the phoenix. Yeah, precisely. And, uh, like it's okay. I think as a war behemoth, which is also good to fight with. Mm -hmm. It's big. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he does have the mana to do to do so. So it's it's not a strange. Uh, He's definitely thing. an aggressive deck, so it, it benefits him to fight. Yeah. Um. So let's see here. Any sideboard cards coming in here? Um, I don't think he will bring in any more green cards uh, since it's just a splash. But um, he's a race in the sideboard, but I don't think I did see anything good of that. Luve might bring in the singing ball strike. He has one. Uh, he did not play it, but he has one. Okay. Which is could be pretty good against uh, the aggressive deck. So, so. Bjorn, I, I really like Bjorn Eriksson's deck. We saw two ra two good rares, yeah. uh, the Twins, the Phoenix, and he has two really good white rares as well. He got Herald Her of Anafensa, which is a really good deck, creating tokens, really, really good creating tokens while outlasting, yeah. and he's actually got uh, Citadel Siege, which is probably the best rare. Probably, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it it's might even be the best. Uh, one, uh, it might even be one of the best cards in this format. I yeah, mean, probably. Ta either you make your guys big, or you tap down a creature every time your opponent attacks. Yes, so that's... Or uh, every time they're going to the combat step. So this deck is the nuts, I yeah. would say. This, this, <laughs> is, um, this is a 10. Yep. 
Because of Silver Siege, almost. It's, yep. It's and he has, like, stable common cards, like Fierce Invocation, Gore Swine. He's got sho- a Shock Mode dra- Dragon. A nice 4-4 yeah, nice Fly. Stance. He has a Sensitive Outcast. Um... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, does he have like a lot of removals? He has a sand blast. Yeah, yeah, and the, the stance as well. The stance. Yeah. So I mean, he, if if he gets on the back foot, I don't think he has an easy time unless he gets the Zidalos each. Mm. But uh, he wants to be an aggressor, and he has the the, the cards for it. But Luvero, what can he do? Uh, as I said, he can take in the bell, yeah the bell strike. The bell strike. Uh, and I think he might bring in something like. I don't know, really. He might bring in an act of treason. Uh, so we're back here to the game, and I must say, Lou has not a very good pull. I think he did okay. the best of what he has. Okay. And I was just uh, doing something unusual in this format, passing up with three mana. Um, it's usually coming down a morph here, and uh, a bonkin, bonkin is going to outlast, and he's going to play. The Herald of Anaphansa we just talked uh, about. Do you know what uh, Bjorn has in his hand? He has the Siege. He has the Siege? He has the siege. <laughs> and does he have a Plains as well to go uh, with it? I, 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 think, uh, I think this is really bad. Uh, well, he could play Warshrieker. Yeah. But no, 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 he does have five lands for that, yeah. Lovis also playing here a good record but yeah. I don't think he can like use it yeah he can use he can use the ability here yeah yeah yes the he double, has the double black double black he needs yeah to mm. do so it, it can be really good but at the same time he's still getting uh, he's still getting uh, if he does it if he does outclass on the on offenses her and her the better fan sites does do that much yeah he'll still get a one one and does he play rush of battle maybe um I don't think so <laughs> so this is like a nice, uh, nice interaction here with all the counters and the Dactar, uh, yeah. the rare guy, yeah. the leader of Absan, or something. Well, well, yeah, the the Fate of Ford leader of Absan. Yeah. Um. So. Hello, Hello, Fancy Bean. He's a pretty, one of one of my favorite uh, rares in this format, uh, at least when it was uh, six cons because it was really slow and he just gained so much value. So. It also it also has vigilance, hasn't it? No, no, no. Uh, it gains first strike um, from the bonkin. It does not have vigilance, vigilance itself. Um, oh, you mean the Dagatha? Yeah, precisely. I think it has vigilance. Yeah, uh, because Lovig just attacked and yeah. didn't. <laughs> okay, Lovig okay, got yeah. some back backup rares as well. So uh, I I think I shall miss the Bolter Dragon. It's a, I, I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's really good mm-hmm. and uh, considering yeah, but the Citadel Siege is gonna make things hard and I think Bjorn actually drew another card. So An- another land I mean. And I think Sigil of Siege will come down here. But uh, does he have two white? Yeah. I, I think, think he does. Two, I think he has two white. Yeah. I really like like Juve, Luve Jans' mana base here. Like mountain swamp, plains and two multicolor lands. So it's almost five colors. Almost five colors. I think it's four colors. Is he playing a green land there? Or is it five colors? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Red. So he's going to uh, Bjorn is going to outlast and then he's going to fight uh, the savage punch on the dragon. Yeah, he's playing five colored. He is. He's playing. He has every four. He has mountain, swamp, blue source, green source, white source. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But you s- you actually see did see here now Bjorn Eriksson two for one himself. Um, yeah, yeah, but he's, he, he he's, wanted he's to on he's on the back foot. Yeah, he I mean, he he wanted to take care of the dragon because that would just be. But but if uh, if he doesn't play a threat now, uh, uh, Luva and uh, Bjorn just plays uh, the Citadel Siege, I think he's in a really good spot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's coming down next? Okay, this is a, mm, a uh, an angler. Uh, the five five angler. the five yeah, five yeah. card. Patrick Shapen's seeing play in the favorite modern. card. Yeah, I mean, that's not. Un- I've played against the dark deck. It's pretty cool. That's not unreasonable. Um, and it's it's a it's like a, a fine five. Yeah, I mean, it's a fine it's card huge. in limited as well. Don't you think? I mean, I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's fine. It's huge. Bjorn has trumpet blast. 
So we might see a crazy turn later on uh -huh. if he just keeps using the. But I think you have to play Seacher and the tap down his uh, the five five. So does uh, the siege tap down a creature every combat? No, on, only your op opponent's combat. Opponent's combat. But okay. I, yeah, so it's it's still very good. Yep. I think it's opponent's combat. Yeah. Yep. The, the one the the, the counts one. Mm -hmm. or, or the first one is your your combat, and mm -hmm. that one is the opponent's combat. Yeah, so this is actually a much better card, because yeah. it affects the board right away. Yeah, it affects board bo both sides always. You, they don't they don't get the block with it. They don't get mm -hmm. attacked and they don't get the block. And uh, you don't think... Yeah, he will probably choose dragons uh, in this belt, because yeah. he just, just wants yeah, to... Yeah, he, he probably attack down the 4-4 the four, four, four Vigilance, yeah. and then if he, if he wants attacks for 5, sure. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I can block with my 1-1. One, one. So here's Citadel's Siege on our screen. And I think Björn, Björn Eriksson is thinking about like playing it now. Or yeah. if he has something else which is a better play. I don't think so. He has a Kirin as well. There we um, go. Sell the Siege. Let's see what he shoots us. Um, it must be Dragons here, right? Yeah. Um, because... Even the counters, the counters, he, Louis yeah, Johnson can exactly. steal. He yeah. can steal, steal two counters each turn. So yeah, so it just feeds his his big guy. Yeah, it's just like feeds uh, yeah. director with pizza slices <laughs> or something. It's, a it's um, yeah. Yeah, I think he has a bait in dragon fire in hand, which I kind of like. And I mean, it might be a shock mount dragon as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pick dragons. Yeah, the and D. there's D for dragons. So he's going to pass the turn. And he, I, I think he's going to play tap down the Dagmar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason not to. Even even if it's um, a, it's a smaller, the the it still have vigilance, which is relevant. Yeah, it depends. What? How wow, I'm really confused now. Yeah, but it, it's. Or maybe he doesn't want to block. Oh. It really depends on Lovis' hands, uh, and how much he wants to sink. Uh, into his mana, somewhat like that. Um, I, I like I like tapping the middle of this guy more. Um, yeah. I do. Luv is going to probably going to play a big threat uh, to add to the board here. Ah. That's probably going to get. I I don't know if it's a shockmon dragon he has in hand or what it is. Mm -hmm. But I think that was a f phoenix, I think. Which is, okay. which is yeah. recent, pretty good here, I think. Mm -hmm. But I, I th you might just keep outlasting and getting a blocker every turn yep. and trying to just get the lands and to play your big big guys. Yeah, that's somewhat of a strategy to to make it further into the game. But um, let's see here if that's the plan. Um, if it's the Phoenix here. Yep, Phoenix. I don't know what do I feel about Phoenix. I mean, it's... Yeah. He can be good, but he can still steal the counters, so yeah, he can't trade with Dagmar. But it, it costs him three mana, so... Yeah, and... Uh, well, he's getting back a morph. He's probably going to block something, something big. But yeah. it's... He doesn't have any, like, really good blocks. So he, he wants him to attack and then, uh, yeah, take the counter. But, well, he takes three mana from uh, Lova, which is... The thing is... He can't even like kill. Um, no, he can't kill like. He can't can even double blocks, but even if it double double blocks. Yeah. He can't kill. No, wait, it. unoffensive is no. I think it's a one two. It's a two three right now. Yeah, it's a one two. So um, he can block for. If he double blocks, he can kill uh, the, the four four. Yeah, yeah. It comes of it becomes yeah. a five five probably, yes. but yeah. And that's. Mm, that might be. The best thing, but I I I think actually that uh, okay. I think Lova has Channel Harm in his hand, so it yeah it looked yeah amount. yeah it looked like uh, Bjorn Eriksson just took the damage yeah um, so I think Lova is looking to even things up here yeah. bad draws I mean Bjorn has not hit any land and he has a Shockmon Dragon in his hand and uh, he has a War Shrieker though but yeah I don't know if like. Bjorn's uh, had a bad draw. Uh, he stumbled a bit on mana, but now Lovic... Uh, sh sh showing the power of a 4-4 yeah. and then 5-5. Uh, yeah, now Lovic 
showed him some co some like powerful cards cards here. Um, so let's see if he can crawl back into the this game. I think it, it, this must be a war shaker here, and he might. Yeah, this is actually what like the the only like was afraid of uh, from Bjorn's perspective. Um, that he was just yeah if he if he if he stumbles he has a yeah problem. he stumbles and he doesn't have like so much removal uh, yeah. which can get him back in the game well, so well this looks pretty nice for him I mean this um, looks fine yeah steel encounters yeah he he might not want to feed the Dagathar more before he kills it and he won't just want to try to kill it now mm -hmm. and and I like that play because then then the Herald of Anfancy becomes a lot, a lot, a lot more better. Mm. better. But uh, as I said, uh, Luva has Shamal Harm in his hand, and it's yeah. gonna be terrible. And also have a, a second angler. Yep. And now he's going to attack with both of his big creatures. And let's see, does he have any like good blocks here? He doesn't know about. Uh, no, he doesn't know about Shamal Harm. The Shamal Harm. Oh, he shouldn't at least. Yeah, he's just gonna jump, I think. He's he's almost dead next turn. It? it does not look good for him. The funny thing about Channel Harm, it's like not so not as suspicious if you play it on on your turn if you have Channel Harm. It's it's just more uh, a lot more suspicious just passing the turn with six mana. But in this case, like mm. um, uh, he Bjorn might be a little bit surprised uh, seeing it coming. Yeah. I mean, it's still a pretty good card. I mean, I, I like it, even though it's is it six mana. Yeah, it's six it's mana. Very expensive. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, this is gonna this is not gonna end well for Bjorn. I think if he has the the, the channel in his hand. Yeah. Um, he's going for it now. So. No, oh, well, he. He's or he's just moving a counter. Which wow! Is wow! I forgot about that. Yeah, I wonder if Bjorn also forgot about it. Wow, um, Luve. I'm not really sure. That but was that was very well played. I thought it was going to be a channel harm here, but no. He yeah. instead plays. Uh, he instead just doesn't use even a card. It, it doesn't really like matter all that much, but. Yeah, but he still has the, the yeah, channel yeah, harm. His hand. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he oh, will yeah. win anyway, but um, now he has. One one more good card in still left in his hand, so yeah, of course it's it's a better play. Um, so he's just going to fight back here. I yeah yeah I kind of like it, but I think he wanted to more like he's going to play a shockmon dragon. I think yeah, I think he wanted to kill the or a yeah. is that the other phoenix? As yeah, well? that's the other phoenix. So wow. he's, he's the Phoenix deck. So he's like, he has five good crazy, not crazy, but some of them are crazy. Some good oh, rares. What, what, what rares? Yeah, he has the on color twins, on color flame wake, on color Phoenix number two, and Herald of Anfansa. Herald of Anfansa. That's four. Did he have any more? Uh, the siege. Five. Yeah. It's pretty good in six boosters. Mm -hmm. What's his last uh, rare? <laughs> Let's look. I don't know. This is uh, this is hilarious. And. Uh, Four, four, three of we have said the three. Yeah. No, no, only two from Fater Forge. I think. And still he is losing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, because it like it doesn't do much here because Luve has his own good good cards and as we said, Bjorn doesn't have the removal for it, so that's the one thing he's lacking in his deck. He, the last one is actually on color, I think. Uh, he has a Wispwood Elemental as the last rare. Wispwood Elemental? The 4-4 four, four yeah, yeah, Manifest. Yeah, yeah. And it's on color, which is... Uh, uh, some sort of on color. It's just splashing green, but... Well, it, 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 yeah. well he could play it. Yeah. That would be... That's one hell of a season. <laughs> it seems kind of greedy to, to play that yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could. It's double green, I guess. I mean... So yeah, so he has kind of almost six on color. He has every on color rare that he can have. Yeah. Yeah, that's. 
that's one one way to like play play good magic and open some of these rares. You play play good magic when you just yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you you can you can fight against these rares and you yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of removals. L L L L L L L showing that the power of rares are. Uh, not that uh, yeah, important yeah. in sealed at least. Even though the Dagtar has done a really good job holding oh, the angler is also doing yeah. pretty good. Yep. So Bjorn Eriksson is down to four life and he's thinking about what to do with this board now. I don't see that many cards that can Change this how this game. I, I think we go for game, to a game break. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm almost certain about it. Yeah, he's just just trying to to make um, a last little shot of crawling back into this game. Yeah, he Something he like. might just want more information as well. Yeah, yeah, that's also that's also. I mean, true. he doesn't know about the channel harm. Yeah, that's that's a important card to know about, um, and I don't think Luve wants to <laughs> to show him uh, that card if it's not really super necessarily uh, necessary. So yeah, yeah he's packing pack it up. It's well, also I'm like a mystic of the hidden way. It was ah, okay. the unblockable guy. So uh, so kind kind of kind of hard to win against that. So it's also. It's always this balance uh, with scooping. If you like, do you want? Do, you, do I want to show more information? Or do yeah, I want to precisely. See more information? And yeah. I think uh, Louve didn't have to like. Yeah, he, uh, but the Beyond doesn't have to show him the the five on color. Mm. Uh, actually, six on color. <laughs> yeah, and Lu yeah, Louve didn't have to like show him anymore. He can. Yeah. He could just attack uh, and attack and attack. And I, I think. I think if. I mean, the power of rares was not that very good there I mean um, sure the Anafensa did very well but still Dagathar just almost nu neutered the the Anafensa the Herald of Anafensa and mm -hmm. uh, the Flame Wake couldn't attack yeah it's it's like stable cards uh, very good cards uh, yeah. even though even though they didn't like do enough because it didn't match up well with what uh, Love had uh, in this game, um, so so what do you do when you're Luva now? Do you like board? Can you board in anything? Like well, uh, not only colors he plays. I think he doesn't. Well, he plays five color, right? If he, if he's l like playing four five, he, he's playing five colors, right? Yeah, if he's yeah, playing he five has, color, he has crackling doom in his main deck. No, in the sideboard. In the sideboard, yeah. yeah, yeah, which could be nice, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean it, it is a removal. It's a removal, but it really depends on which. Even if you're if you're five color, I don't think it's just straight up five colors. Maybe three colors splashing, uh, yeah, splashing I, a I, color I don't, or two. I don't see any uh, removal either for like uh, the siege. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I maybe he got just got lucky. Mm. Yeah, he he's vice for a citadel siege. I've never done that. <laughs> And I always die to seal this each. So, how do you think this uh, last game will be heading? How? What? Well, Bjorn is on the play, and he's. Uh, well, I I guess he's on the play. I mean, you're probably on the play. And if he doesn't mulligan, he has an all right hand. I think he will probably win. He is the aggro deck, and. Well, yeah. But but maybe maybe Luva shows us wrong. Uh maybe. Um, he he. I mean, Luva is. I think at least five col four colorless uh, colors at least. Maybe a special yeah. last one. Probably. Yeah, he might just splash for Dagathar, but he, and mm -hmm. he seems his mana base is maybe a little shaky. Yeah, yeah. I also have my have my Lover bets took on. Absent advantage. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a thing you could take in. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh well, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, as I said, if they don't mulligan, I think Bjorn might take this. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, it, I didn't it, see too many misplays. Maybe, maybe the one about their. Uh, Dagmathar or whatever he's called, uh, mm -hmm. and the, then the angler, but we didn't think about it either. Uh, yes. Yeah. So so he has a removal for enchantment. Uh, he took in the the bolster removal for mm -hmm. two mana, which is which is an excellent excellent uh, mm -hmm. cyber card, I think. And it's. So what does uh, what's Lova's hand here? He's got the angler, the Krushak, 
the Dagathar, the Karin, and the uh, three planes. I, I I will keep this. This is a great. I mean, yeah. he, he can play Dagathar and Karin. And, and he's on the draw, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he... I, oh, yeah, this is a keep. Mm -hmm. He's outlasting worst case, and yeah, yeah. Dagathar can be bigger. He, I mean, he's, he can't be bigger uh, with the man you have, but he can in a later point. Yes. And outlast is fine if you're not drawing in the lands still. So, what's... What does Bjorn have in he his hand? He passes? But he has a Karen in his hand. Uh, it's the it's the two three flying oh, to four. Okay, okay. That Karen. Okay, so it was the um, bond kin. That's yeah, the, yeah, that's mm. the two one the outlast, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is uh, morph number one coming down, and here's the Mardu uh, War. War shrieker. War shrieker. It looks like uh, th this is pretty telling. Obviously, Bjorn does not have a, a drop in his hand. Yeah. If he had a four drop, he would pl not pl probably play it. And now, now we see uh, a nice attack here. Um, a morph guy heading into the red zone. I have no idea what morph this is, but it might be something just blown out. Um, yeah. He's keeping three mana up again. Uh, what is that? I must have sand less. Um, the thing is, I don't think he has much to play because he is now stuck on on three. But lands. he has. Dag Dagothar in hand. Yeah, but that costs four. Um, oh yeah, he costs four. So so here, there there was the sandblast indeed, and now the Mardu Heart Piercer showing took, uh, took down the. I didn't see what it was. It was a bl blue card at least. Took down the morph, and now finally, a turn too late. A planes coming down here for Luva, and a four forward vigilance. Uh, yeah, pretty good card. I don't think like Luva is playing. Like five colors, but he's he has he must a, have a splash. Yeah, he has a couple of splashes. Or just the dual lands to get some life. He's probably like four colors and maining black and white, a black white uh, deck. I think actually he is maining blue. Uh, he okay. Barely ha he has barely any black cards. Uh, he has actually no black cards in his uh, forty. And now we see we did see a valor stance uh, taking down yeah. the Dagtar. Yeah, it, it, it is a really good removal. Th this is what I was afraid of. Uh, mm -hmm. just, uh, but no other play... But Bjorn doesn't have to have to have that like really good hand that I was afraid of. And it's, and if uh, Luve just gets a, a Swamp pair, he can play the Anglers. Mm -hmm. And he has two Anglers in hand, actually. Mm -hmm. and, and he has an Absent Sky Captain. Yes. So here's the Kirin coming down, and here's a Phoenix. And, and a uh, Savage Punch. The Fighting card. So, the Savage Punch getting plus two, plus two, thanks to the Phoenix. Yeah, it being a 4-1. Yeah. And that's a Sky yeah. Captain. Sky Captain being really bad in his position. Sure, he can take out the 4-1, but it's, he can flip it up the same time. Yeah, times. you always like feel bad if you if you have to block in, in a position like this. You you feel like you're... This, this, looks, this, looks not, this does not look very good for uh, Lova. You probably want to... W Wait a turn if you block, but oh. now you di didn't even get the chance to do, the, do so. Yeah, and it, and it bolsters, so it's not even mm. gonna matter anyway. So, Beyond's really stable. Uh, yeah, this, this is. Yeah. Yep, that was a fast scoop. So, Beyond showing his morph, showing his, his really nice deck here. Yeah, um, I mean, his deck was stable. I mean, it, 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 it wasn't as greedy as uh, Lewis deck. Uh, Lube did the best thing best he could with his pool, but it was pretty yeah. bad, I would say. I mean, he had some good cards, but at the same time, yeah. And I would say, um, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Bjorn Eriksson. His his deck was just insane. Yeah. If he doesn't get it to the top eight, L he has uh, to like L fizzle. L Lube actually took in the the anglers from the sideboard. Uh huh. I think, or it's, this, this is wrong. Yeah. He might have. Um, this must, might, might be. He might have written wrong. I don't know. Did he play the Anglers game one? No, he didn't. I don't think we so. We didn't see anything in game one because he is. I play. Yeah. I play my uh, three three do double strike and pump it mm -hmm. a little. You die. Yeah, maybe just uh, Lova recognized that that. Uh, yeah, I mean, he needs. Beyond didn't have any yeah. good removals. Or, for or, yeah, and he needs big guys that can block his. Yeah. We also. Like it's it's not easy to it's not always easy to build these decks. If Lova might actually just I build this deck wrong, 
I have to. I have to. You have to. I have to sideboard every time. Uh, yeah, yeah, precisely. Yeah. So you have to sideboard each and every round if you if you find yourself doing something wrong uh, doing yeah. the deck building because you have to change it back. Every yeah, time. Uh, many, many times on the MTGO I have uh, registered a deck I didn't like and I have to sideboard it out. Yeah, every time. yeah, that maybe happened. Yeah, it might be something that happened, or at least he was like, "Oh wow, I have I have anglers. I should have played it. Mm -hmm. I have a pretty good, uh, I have a pretty good like I have some good cards I should maybe take in, and I didn't play." Yes, so that was a. It was a nice game one and two at least. Yeah, game game two was. I was really surprised mm -hmm. how good uh, Lova played that game. Yeah, uh, facing down what was it three or four rares and still just mm -hmm. one. Even a the siege, which is yeah, above, he, he, he did busted. He did what he could like. Yeah, he, he played really well. Uh, he just he got ran over. He played the slow deck and got ran over. Mm -hmm. It, it seems like uh, it, a lot of these former machines like the aggressive deck if it gets to do what it wants to it wins but mm -hmm. this, the slow deck still has like some kind of a chance you have a lot of removal yes we, we were all we, were all, we never had two really grindy decks we always had the aggressor and the defender mm. so what are we going to do now are we i don't think we actually have the time to to get another match here it's it's a little bit uh, stressed for that, so um, we go. We're just going to uh, take a break from here, I believe, and we're going back for what's it's the round four. It's round. It's round three right now, I think. Yeah, and we're going coming back for round four in I don't know twenty thirty minutes.